is under more pressure. Oh. That is the throwdown. Is it Colt McCoy or is it Dak Prescott? I'll say Colt McCoy. There's no question about it. Listen, there's there's no way you can say Colt McCoy is playing with house money because he's not. He's playing with money that they don't want to give away. Mm -hmm. They sit there and, and put themselves in a position where they have the lead in the NFC East, and now all of a sudden Alex Smith goes down. You can't say, oh, well, you know, they, they had it in their hands and it slipped away because our backup came in. No. He's been in the league for quite some time. He's been a backup being paid as such to come in in situations like this. I don't care if you're a number one, number two, or number three quarterback. You're starting on a big day like this. You have to go out there and win. I know he's feeling that. And it's okay mm. because this is what dreams are made of, baby. We saw Nick Foles win a Super Bowl last year. We're hearing that uh, Chase Daniels is going to play today. This is what – I think when backup quarterbacks come in, we all get shocked. Like, sure. Oh, no. But if a backup receiver plays or backup D lineman or kicker comes in, they're like, oh, this is part of the course. Mm. No, this is, this is the same thing that happens in the league. It's just different because the Redskins are sitting there in first place. Who's got more pressure? Do you know what being America's team's quarterback means? Do you know what that means? Talk about it, Peter. It means at 4.30 today, Troy Aikman and Joe Buck are going to welcome in America yeah. for another year of you on display with a spotlight of Grandma Ida and Aunt Ruth and, and Cousin Sally, their only game they're watching all season, and you're the quarterback. Last year, I watched Dak Prescott be the quarterback, and the L.A. Chargers ran rampant all over the Dallas Cowboys, and Dak Prescott had no answer. Look, they've won two games in a row. That's all fine and dandy. You lose this one, you're down two games in the standings to the Redskins, and they've beaten you twice in the head-to-head. -head. It might not be such smooth sailing anymore. It's one thing to beat the Falcons. It's one thing to beat the Titans. It's another thing to – or the Eagles. It's another thing to do it on Thanksgiving Day with a backup quarterback on the other side. It's not like you're losing to Alex Smith or yeah. Kirk Cousins. You're losing to Colt McCoy in his first start since 2014. Pressure, Nate? Dak Prescott's under pressure. Go win a game, bud. This is about winning Super Bowls over the Dallas Cowboys. You got to win the big one. You got to beat the big dogs. You cannot, for the sake of this team, cannot. this franchise, and nay, this country, <laughs> if you're Dak Prescott, cannot be in your home field and lose to a backup quarterback, a great one or otherwise. I don't care if it's Nick Foles. I don't care if it's Tom Brady was a backup. You don't lose at home in Gerald to a backup. We love the Colt McCoy story. It's great. Reminds me of Del Griffith in the Thanksgiving movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. We root for John Candy. We root for Colt You're McCoy. You're going the wrong well, way. Sure. But as every John Hughes movie, it always ends with that little sad note at the end, and you find out John Candy's wife ain't around. I feel like it's going to oh. end in a sad note, too, for Colt McCoy because of the Cowboys' defense. Dak, you got to win this one, dude. Adam